All right, we get to find out what the fuck this song is all about. I know you guys are just screaming in confusion or anger or whatever the fuck. Just screaming in the comment section about this song and what it means. I am curious as to see what it is all about and why it has to do with these two twins right here. I mean, love, hate, I mean... I, I love you. I hate you. I don't know. I hate you. <laughs> I love you. I can't believe how much I love you. Wow, don't you sound like a desperate cocksucker, fucking Len, or wait, Ren, or Le wh whatever your fucking name is. Love and hate, I'm not sure. I can't stop it. Love, hate. Okay. Just remember, these two are twins, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just... I keep getting like a lot of mixed messages, people saying like, Oh, they're totally not twins, they're lovers. No, they're actually twins, and there are some people that are like, No, they're both! That just sounds wrong! Like, you're both? Ugh. I don't know, like, I, I... You can't... I mean, unless you're... I mean, I, I could... Well, they're fictional characters, and they... If we want to think in the mindset of these guys in, like, their own realm, they could be actors, but at the same time, like... I feel like it should have been one or the other, and can't be both at the same time, otherwise it just feels weird. I don't know. They're either one or the other. I I really like it if they were twins, but if they're lovers, okay, that's fine. But don't say they're twins, especially since there's do definitely like previous songs I've listened to where they're totally confirmed to be twins. But uh, whatever. I I right, proceed with the song. Let's just in this context of the song, let's just say they're lovers. Then all right, let's just do that. Okay. All right, what are you guys talking? Gerd. He just came out and said it. What I love you. I can't get it out of my head. Love, hate, is there a middle ground? Yeah, it's called the friend zone. <laughs> have you have ever had tips from Hatsune? Just talk to her about it. I'm pinned between two choices. No, you have a third choice. Friend zone. <laughs> I mean, it would break the guy's heart, but hey, at least he wouldn't be... Let's just face it, he'll still be alone and shit. <laughs> Alright. I already know what your answer will be. Our wedding. I've got a perfect plan! Wait, what? Our wedding? I've got the perfect plan? What the fuck? Dude, this is... Okay, so this they're supposed to be in high school, right? Or junior high or something? I don't talk about marriages when I talk in, when I date a girl. I talk about how much I love her. I talk how much I have time, fun times together. I don't jump the gun and say, hey, let's have sex. I don't do that. I just let it naturally come to me and see what happens. I don't fucking... Uh, we live in Shoto, Tokyo. And have three kids or... S God, this game has weeaboo written all over with that fucking smiley face right there. <laughs> Is that font even real? Like, how the fuck do you do that W thing? It's probably like italics and... Well, a different font, I just said. As right, so you have three kids or so... Nice looking kids, they're more like triplets. Oh great, twins giving birth to triplets, that's nice. Hang on, wait, what? I'm only 14, hello? Going steady. I love you. Listen to me, dummy. Yeah, listen to the woman, don't jump the gun! You can say you love her and all, but don't immediately go for the bed. Wait till you guys are... In a good, steady relationship, and what the fuck, dude? You're leaving yourself wide open. Exactly! Like, girls don't like that. Girls don't like it that... Girls, I mean, I don't know about... I, I'm not gonna generalize every single girl. I'm pretty sure there are some girls that like that kind of shit, though. But generally, from my experience, girls don't like desperate fuckers. And you're re you seem to be really, really desperate for a girl. I mean, I, get, I think, I guess you really like her and such. And... There's so far, there's no hints that you want to gain another girl, date another girl and such. But, dude, seriously, if you want the pussy, don't dig into the pussy. You have to savor it. You have to cook it real hard and real good. You don't just eat it raw. You take a good dip from it. Uh, what the fuck am I saying? God damn, I'm talking about sex. They're in junior high, aren't they? And they're fucking twins! God damn, I gotta stop fucking... Mm. It's so weird! Ugh! Japan, I, I love you, but at the same time, I fucking hate you, too. God damn it. I want to try love- wait, hold on. I want to try love all warm and fuzzy. 
smile during our bald principal speech? <laughs> wait, are there bald? Wait, I never seen bald people in Japan ever. So that seems more like an American thing when it generalizes like the whole hard-headed principal. But I, I never see that for. Usually, it's the principal that rapes their children or something. Out. Oh, fuck! I gotta stop watching hentai. <laughs> Mix milk and pandas, and you get polar bears. What, what, huh? So basically, you're n never- wait, hold on, wait, what? Huh? M wait, mix milk and pandas, and you get polar bears? I I you're basically whitening the panda that's mixed in diversity. You're basically not negro -ifying. <laughs> the panda. What the fuck am I saying? I'm just you're unniggering him. <laughs> guys, guys, I gotta shut up my fucking big mouth. I'm a racist fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if there's any black ears that are watching this video right now. Uh, nigger fine. What the fuck am I saying? The world goes round. Why the fuck? Right, I gotta stop. I got. All right, let me listen to love and hate. I don't know. There. Go. Okay, let's listen to the music. Okay, let's stop getting shit. All right. I hate you, but I love you? I don't know what to think. Uh... What? Alright. Oh. <laughs> Just open the damn present and see what is in there. Okay. Got... I mean, she, he, he is a pretty cute fella, but I... Yeah, yeah, personality always comes in first. And if you have a shitty personality with a smile on your face, that still means you have a shitty personality. Oh no! I think I may be falling in love! Oh no! Now that I know how nice you are... I, well, then again, I, he is nice. I mean, he's, it's not like it's a guy who's very desperate that's a dick. He's like, no, I want to fucking get you in your pussy and I want to fucking lick it and I want to fucking lick it hard and shit. No, he's like, uh... I, I like you and all. I don't think he's even talking about sex whatsoever. What the fuck? I mean, he just says children, but that doesn't automatically mean sex. God damn, I gotta get my perverted mind out of here. This is a very interesting song to decipher. I think this is like the longest song I've deciphered thus far out of like all the other songs I've tried to accumulate. Alright. You're such a weirdo sometimes. But I'm still falling for you. Mm hmm. I want to try love, all sparkling bright. A panda that just sleeps all day is no fun. Walk it, love it, give it water, nurture it. Wait, what? Huh? Okay, like what? Feed him on a date? Okay, love it, walk it, I get it. Like, okay, we want to be together. Sure, we're going to have a nice natural time together. Give it water, nurture it. Uh, okay, I, 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 what? I don't know what metaphor that means. <laughs> Oh, then again, you want to like, okay, maybe like, it's kind of like a complicated relationship. Like, you kind of think of her as a mother, I mean, or as a son, but kind of like, uh, okay, we're not getting into any more incest. Okay. Let's just get the song over here. Butting heads and holding hands. Intertwined fromage. Hate may be a coin flip away. But for now, we're in love. Okay. I love you, I hate you, I know, I know, I love you. I love you, I can't believe how much I love you. Love and hate, it never ends. It's definitely not an abusive relationship, that's for damn sure. <laughs> he definitely is not the abusive type. Okay, so it's like a... If anything, um, the girl's more the abuser in this relationship. Uh, okay, so, hate and love. I hate it, I love it, I don't know what to think of it. Let's just say I love it. But I also hate it. But I also love it. But I also hate it, but I also love it! Alright, shut up. Miracle Paint! Oh, this one's a shabba de boo Can we, um... Got a bunch of, uh, costumes. Might as well switch them up to, uh... I think I know exactly what costume this one's for. At least I hope I do. Here it is. This looks very shabba dooby dish. Alright. Um. Wow, well, man, I might as well, um. Yeah. I think I might know this one, but I'm just gonna take a wild gander guess here. 
Okay. Um. Yeah, no, no. Moonlight Beaver, Marionette, no. Wreath of You? No, that doesn't sound like it's it. That's de definitely, I know what that is. Conflicted. It might be organized in order. Pansy. Oh, this is all. Oh, this is all the, uh. First game one. Okay, um, so. It might be an aura, that's how you could tell tell what it is. That's from what I'm guessing, so like This is the two breath walking. So I'm gonna take a gander guess that the little red one <laughs> is the one that making oh my god. It's so weird. <laughs> there we go. At least that's what I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. But whatever. <laughs> Alright, Miracle Paint. Let's... Let's, yeah. This one's exciting, I I hope. Uh. Maybe they are lovers and the one that told me that they're twins is lying. Oh, or maybe it is. Oh. They look like twins. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Okay. On my way back home, I watched the wine red sunset on a twilight canvas. Is it your heart? Already painting portraits of me? We have plenty of time tonight. I'd be yours and yours all alone. As we take slow, deep breaths, gazing at each other, it begins. A miracle painting, a miraculous showtime. Hypnotize me with your magic brush. I think you're the one that's doing the hypnotizing here. Paint me in your color. All the way to the tips of my fingers. How many dreams have we counted tonight? My feelings overflow. Too many to count, too much to convey. I can't express them enough, not nearly enough. So don't let this end yet. More, give me more. A color just for me. Don't end this yet. Miracle painting. <laughs> this is a never ending song. Continue with your bewitchment. Hold off for a bit on the finishing touches. I'll tell you from my heart. <laughs> okay, at least of all the love songs, this has got to be my favorite, just from its showmanship and its effort. And it's just... And the song itself sounds really nice, too. So, yeah, this... I'm guessing this song... Again, just a guess, an inference, uh, an educated guess, that uh, this song is about a woman so hypnotizing at the bar, or not necessarily at the bar, like, she's like a magician, and well, from what she's uh, singing from the lyrics, I think it's the point of view of the person who's looking at her, and due to her luxurious, luxurious body, she is basically a magician full of hypnotizing and distraction and can't really like get your mind off of her because you love her just from her looks and I feel like that's selfish but I think that's what the song goes and it's a really cool nice song that for once is not very weeaboo-ish okay pinky swear oh. I don't know about this one this one sounds a little creepy isn't it this is the one with the knife and murder and things anyways there that is definitely not it. 
It might be the Moonlight Butterfly, but... Excuse me. The pattern I see so far is that... It's the song before... The song. The first song is the one that's... Uh, I don't know, let's just stick to the original one, just because I'm not too sure as to what specifically the costumes are. And then again, I have not bought every single costume yet, so that could, um, God knows, like, if I even unlocked it yet. Whatever, I'm just going for what it fits, what fits. Ah, uh, my ear is still fucking... Pinky swear. Night for you. I offer up this body with you and special. This isn't flattery or lip service. Uh, I'm in love. Everything reflected in your eyes stirs hatred in me. But don't look at anything else but me. I hear the sounds of a heart. It's a dirty, grating voice. I don't care where the l wait. Oh, I don't care where the last boy went. Oh, okay. It's your future that concerns me. My body, my heart, all, my all, deeper and deeper, until I'm satisfied. Now let's turn up the heat. I'm guessing she wants the D. What I'm gathering so far is a woman, a prostitute specifically, um, falling in love with another with a man. Sorry, not another man. A man. And she wants this one, sorry, she wants this one to be her one and make sure that he's not eyeing out on any other women out there. She wants him to be, basically he's the, uh, I, I don't know. I think I'm just saying things off my ass now. Anyways, lying here in this small managerie, I don't know how to spell that, with our dust-covered love. If you don't think this is true love, let me show you proof. If I were you, forget haircuts or tearing my nails, I'll cut off my pinky as proof our love won't change. Okay, wait, hold on, bitch. You're the one that has commitment issues, and that here you are thinking that I'm the one that's accusing you of having commitment issues? Fuck you. I'm pretty sure I got that all wrong, but... <laughs> that's what I'm trying to think. There's no... Oops, I probably accidentally pressed X or something, so I didn't get what the last lyrics were. Sorry. I'm, pretty, I'm sure that was pinky swear. But, uh... Mm. That... This song is creepy, and it definitely delivers on its creepiness factor. <laughs> like, okay, uh... Do I want the pussy? <laughs> is she even old enough to have the pussy? I don't know. Oh, whatever, okay. Uh, Colorful X Melody. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into more depth because there's really not too many information that's present. But, uh... It is a very creepy song, and I'm intrigued by it. At least from what it's conveying. It's like a story... A horror story that... It's kind of like reading an actual good creepy pasta or something. If the next one, Blackjack. All right, last song for this uh, part. All right, what's your costume? Because I would love to see it. Temptation. For this song five times. Is that a Temptation or a more? I'm gonna go with Temptation. If I uh, unlock the if the costume yet. Boom. And boom. And the boom. And temptation. There you are. 
Oh god, you It's the It's the chick from the the, the dra dragon something dang no no not dang and ropa uh the one with the fucking flower on her hair or sorry not her hair her hat the her eyes the near game fuck I mm, just from your costume just from that eye piece right there I'm not <laughs> looking forward to it too much uh, maybe the maybe the lyrics will make it so that it's not painful but I don't know, I don't like the costume so far. Just from it, the fact that it looks like that chick that I hate from that one video. Ooh, excuse me. From that one video game. I uh, ate burrito before I record, by the way. Okay. Music sounds the fucking epic as hell, so... Maybe I'll just like the song for that. Alright. I do think she is the sexiest one out of- no, Mako's pretty sexy too. Either her or Mako's probably my favorite female. I'm gonna quit! Hit me! Ditch if you want a second, hit me! Just try this one- God damn bitch, slow the fuck down, I can't read that fast! Just try this one thing, hit me. If you only want to get my attention... Red noise thunder is on the moonlight night. Shout it out, let an echo, pity me. Come on, stick it out, these girl's lips. I bet the lies will come splitting out. Motion brandish without warning. Integration stressed over pros and cons. Love glowing with ecstasy. Winners takes all. The contradiction that knows the limits. Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I get it. The price of loving blindly. Let's go mad. And destroy it all. Stab a knife into the watchdog right now. Yeah, watchdogs fucking suck. Jesus, fuck, what a shitty ass game. I totally agree with you. I like this song just for that statement right there, Luca. Thanks. That made it so much better. Okay. You guys can't tell I fucking hate Watch Dogs. It's one of the worst fucking games that ever happened last year. Anyways, rant over. Right now, before starring down reality, hit me! I'm sensing a trend here. I would totally love to hit you. Not in an abusive way, but you know what I mean. Ah, this song just crawls along. Belting out that feeling of hitting 21. Probably ignore the uh, eye piece. Yeah, I can easily ignore it. So, uh, when is this bitch getting naked? <laughs> Casually discovered despair, inevitability, realized hope, perfectly tied attrition. I'm alone again today. Eloquently conditioned to obedience. Unchallenged arrogance begets sequences. I've lost everything. The ideal I pursue too far shreds me with a knife. Right before the competition sinks me. Hit me. Ah, this is a song for the losers. Crushed by the reality of 22. I fucking love that song. That's just, he's like, oh, hey, you want a piece of me? Yo, yeah, well, bitch, you ain't gonna have me. I'm an independent woman, bitch. Yeah, I'm not gonna take my clothes off for you, assholes. No, I'll take my clothes off when I feel like it. You go, Luca. This is gonna piss off so many feminists. <laughs> uh, I already pissed off so many feminists. I don't give a shit. You bitches better learn some goddamn respect and shit, all right? And learn the actual meaning of true womanship. This bitch knows what she's talking about. This bitch knows what she's talking about. This is the biggest... Baddest bitch I've ever met, and I love her for that. Okay, Luca, I think you're my favorite out of all the uh, Hatsune Miku girls. Mako, you gotta get, you gotta um, match up her skill level if you wanna get my attention. <laughs> all right, Luca, you're awesome. That's a good note to end on. We'll be right back for the next part. Stay tuned for more. Let's play Video Games Awesome Live. Fuck, not Video Games Awesome. Sorry, wrong show. God damn it. Let's play Hatsune Miku Project Eve Second. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> 